Welcome back to Doggo Card Reviews. We are back here with part two of this Issy Order of Rabbit Bloom set review. And once again by Gavin and Ian here. Hello, hello. So, part two of the re of a relevant set. Let's go, boys. Yes, so we will be and with none other than Halloween Night Chia 0500 power with our classic Ama Usa entree as well as Bloom. So, the okay, case if you have another Bloom character or another character with Sharo or Chia in its card game, which will that's pretty difficult. A she gets level plus one, power plus 2500, and continuous the character in front of her cannot side attack, and she may run to the front row center slug for free. Ian, you want you want to go first, or shall I? Uh, you can you can take it. Uh, I hope you're gonna say good things because this card's oh, awesome. Well, this card's amazing. Like it's Goblin Slayer Chia, boys. It, it, it's a much more adorable version of Goblin Slayer. I'm going. You know what? I love this thing. I'm like, okay. The problem with Goblin Slayer that I always ran into. I don't know if I, if you played it, Ian, but was always right against it. So imagine, I, I had to keep my hands, I ha I couldn't go ham. My hand size was always a problem. With Chia, oh hell no, it's so easy, man. <laughs> it, it, it's conditionless, it's so easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, are you playing the game? Like, uh, come on. This, this is just, this card's pretty nice starting off. Unbombable and Vanilla Staggit runs for free. Well, when I was going through, you know, uh, many bloomless, I'm going, why isn't Chia everywhere? Literally. I see her in most builds, I'll be honest. You know, what's funny is, most Chia and Shadow builds didn't run this. I'm going, what? Why are you running Rabbit Ear Parker Shadow instead? I'm yeah, going, no, th this is a strict upgrade in every sense. Right, it's... Like, the only reason is... why I would... I guess only like one real reason that you would consider it and probably maybe color issue question mark. I don't know like um like I don't know how much green or yellow you're running like now with the deck. The, deck. The, the de it's I mean, mostly yellow, so this is just extra green fix, which is right. Awesome. Right. The deck is Selesnia, so it color should not be an issue. The two colors Selesnia, so Honestly speaking, this card has anchored me throughout early game when playing with Bloom. So I'm going, if you aren't playing this, you're either in a very heavily specialized build. Like, I don't see this in, like, even in a Rabbit House build, I'm going Halloween Night Chia times four. This whiffs on... Uh, <laughs> it's that good. Like, sure, it whiffs on DZ. But again, not a lot of builds are playing the original DZ. You know, we'll we'll get to that later on. But at, at the same time, this also whiffs on the Chimami type, the, the Chimami type Asasa, Asasa Mark III. So again, there is little to no reason not to run Chia. Like outside of maybe price concerns, that's it. Like this is an easy, splashable green. In limited, gentlemen. Hello, would the first grab right? First grab, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, only, I, I, the, only, I, the only time you go take this, you you, you found the SP. Like, uh, like, uh, like yeah, it just passed. Okay, reveal the SP you took. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, uh, uh, I mean, my my rating should be clear. We're going even further oh, beyond, boys. Yeah, card, 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 too good. Uh, Ian, you have anything to say after that? Um, no. Uh, this card's amazing. Uh. Pretty much every Bloom deck runs this. Shiro Chia definitely does. The only reason you'd run the other uh, Robbie Ears Park of Sharo is if you spent a whole lot of money on the signs and didn't want to spend the money on the signs for this one. I mean, you prefer my, <laughs> you prefer the signature of Maya Uchida versus Satomi Sato. That's it. Yeah, but uh, you are actively making your uh, game and your play worse by not running this. Right. At that point, just... At that point, I, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, de definitely a playable rating for me. Even maybe playable plus, because this thing's nice. It's very nice. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll I'll stick with being reasonable playable. Playable, right. Fair enough, fair enough. Because well, it is Goblin Slayer Runner, just a little bit nicer. Um, But I don't think it's really like... 
one of like the huge draws to this. It's so strong. You know what? You know what? Playable plus. Yeah, I'll I'll do playable plus. Yeah, it, it it's the reason why, in my opinion, Gochi Usa's level zero game is so strong. Yeah, I mean, it was strong before. You have a ton of utility, but yeah, this you, is you, definitely it was, like it was one of the stronger level zero games back in its heyday. Yeah. And and even and transferring to the modern even the yeah. modern day, uh, it went to the gym. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, next nope, nope. trick or treat. Lise and Chia, three, two, nine K. All right, so Amo Usan and Bloom. Yeah, kind of a fail. Kind of a fail here. There's no rabbit house since these guys on the card. So if you have two or more other Bloom or Chia or Ch Shadow and or Chia, this card gains two thousand. That's kind of difficult, Bushy. Hey, Bushro, we gotta talk about that sentence, man. It's still it's not funny. Uh, when this card attacks, if you have another Bloom character and you ha and or Chia, Chia and or Shadow on the board. You may pay the cost of one and discard a card. If you do, choose up to X cards in your opponent's grave, and your opponent shuffles back in where X is the number of witches anger, the event above, in your grave. Alrighty, so the, this is the next one that kind of relates to that, the event that you kind of need in the waiting room. Um, witches anger is a 1-0 green event. Top two cards of your deck into the waiting room. Choose up to one level X or lower Bloom character or character with Shara or Chi in its name. Add it to, to your hand. X is the sum of the levels of the milled cards. So you mill two level threes up off the top, you can get a level six or lower. You get two zeros off the top, zero or lower. Uh, it's a cigarettes event. It's that event from No Game, No Life that the Steph combo combos with. That's kind of where I know it from. But... um. <coughs> Yeah, that, that's kind of what, what we're working with when we're looking at the condition for that alternate finisher. So if we want to go back and kind of talk about that. Um, pretty much all the conditions here besides the event being in the waiting room itself are conditionless. Like, you get that power for free. The other Bloom, Sharo or Chia, is completely free. Um, I think Gavin makes a good point. Uh, where the Hex Rabbit House trait? Uh, but uh, it's... It's a Chia card because it's in green. That's that's mostly what they were trying to aim for here. Fair enough. They, 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 they didn't want to like do any funny things like they've done with some titles with triple traits. And yeah, they could have triple traded this easily. They've done they, it in they, the past. They've done it. It's just more of you know, they, you know, traditionally, <laughs> rappers has been <laughs> rationalized <laughs> titles. Fair enough. Well, Bloom broke them. Well, Br Blue and Dear My Sister kind of broke that mold, dude. Mm -hmm. Kinda, but you're still, you're, you're still kind of having it here. Fair enough. Uh, the the thing about it is that Amausa on as a trait itself, while unique to Chia and like no other characters, uh, besides maybe Anko, the Chia's rabbit. Um, Wait, was old boss it, song ever a card? No, never, never heard. No, of ne never, never a card. But um, the trait itself has no usefulness as far as like any other card is concerned so rap having this have rabbit house and bloom um i think would have necessitated it being red from kind of like a flavor standpoint but if they kept it green and gave it that trait um it would be just more searchable in other decks uh, as it is though it's it's fine you're probably not playing this in an out of color deck i uh anyway you're either doing it in bloom or some Sharochia build right so, talking about the event. Well, again, it's Boneless Fugo. It's effectively... My biggest problem with it is you can't fetch this. Yeah, uh, throughout the entirety of the reveals, I was hoping, like, get a bonder, get a ditch bonder, get a pay bonder, get a, a, a clock bonder would have kind of sucked, but... Uh when we were nearing the end, I was kind of like, anything would be better than just this just being a standalone. Like, I, I was hoping that, you know, the the divination combo from the, sh the Shadow would have been able to fetch this. But no, we can't even draw it off that. Yeah, if it was more uh, like the Data Live Yellow Level 1 and could get events as well, just on reverse, like... That would have been super helpful for this uh, thing in particular. 
Um, not gonna lie, Ian. If it if it did, if it could grab events, I'd be on that combo instead instead of instead of well, the because combo. it's it's so big on it on its own and can just get so much. Uh, if you're even a little bit event oriented, like more than two events, um, you probably would run the standby combo instead. But if you're like, I don't need events, I just want to play all characters. Shower is probably a little bit better in bloom and yellow green than it is uh, the the Rize combo. Right. The Rize the Rize, the Rize, the Rize combo is kind of again, it's not it's not the most popular combo, and I'm going. I guess people really have an aversion to that combo, but again, we'll talk more about that, you know, next week. But yeah, once we get into red. It, it, it's... For me, it's more of, okay, this event, yeah, cigarettes is somewhat useful. Somewhat. I didn't like it in Albuta. I don't like it here. I'm going, yeah. what's the point? We, if, even if we're playing this in Chia and Shadow, we already have a yellow event. That event is so much better. Yeah, you're milling six for one stock versus milling two for free. Um, um, I'm going, they both can trip me. Right, well, okay, well, think about it this way, you know, which is anger, you know, one, it's free, two, it's selectivity of a character in your waiting room versus uh, Bargain oh, Active Conk being a, you know, uh, a, a dog, dog trio plus. Right, essentially being, yes. But at the same time, though, Discount of the Brocante could get me what I need versus, oh, it's not my grave? Fuck. Yeah, uh, the, yeah this is character exclusive, which I don't think is like a huge demerit. Most things are. But when I look at like the sheer improbability of getting this card to hand to to be like controllable with the three two that we're kind of reviewing at this point like if it had any sort of bonder if there was a level one combo that was just like salvage this event or search this event we it, it would be a completely different situation but as it stands in any deck that you ever make concerning this level three you have to run this level one uh, uh, event combo you have to run probably four of it to even make this send uh, cards from your opponent's waiting room back into the deck and shuffle uh, right. to make it even relevant. And you're at the same time kind of hoping at the end of the game that this mill two from your deck of probably 25 plus 30 plus cards is going to hit more of this event so that you can get more of this name in the waiting room for this level three. That's hoping for a that's hoping for a lot. And Ian, let's say for you know, for sake of example, you know, Gift of the Crown Shadow was Sashi combo from Grisaya. I'm sure you know what that combo does. Um, I recollect it vaguely. So it met so imagine her being able to grab the wit the witch the witch event that we're talking about, which mm. is anger. So she grab so Sachi's cooking is witch's anger. And yeah. she's a she's able to grab it from your deck or your grave on CX placement. Yeah, and, and you really just needed one way to get... The, the only way to get it at this point is hard drawing it. Some of the draw effects that we see mostly in red, which doesn't quite vibe with the same uh, setup. And then just... Like, th there's no easy way. you got to like naturally clock into this thing. It doesn't salvage itself there's no alternate way there's no salvage an event like it, it's... It's, i i see a lot of like from a lot of lists i'm going okay you're either either gonna grab it from azusa or you're hard drawing this which neither of which sounds all that great to me like i, I usually want to grab something that isn't this event off something like azusa yeah, I, I, often Azutsa, if you look at the other level one or higher's that you have access to, this is very middling. Um, like, you you can claim, like, oh, it's a, it's a mill two, and then it'll salvage anything that the Azutsu might not have been able to get. But the, the deck slots that this takes up, again, for for this level three combo, is, like, not necessarily worth it to me. So, right, right. so 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 if I were to look completely competitive, not not limited in any sense, I would label the event itself as bad and this trick-or-treat Rizanchia as a niche. Because 
I, I think we're talking a lot about the the event and the event's been seen in so many other places and it's just okay it's not operation tornado where you're looking at top three that would be very nice uh it's just a mill two and mill two while we were talking about charochi and needing a, a more mill like i think there are just kind of better cards than this the and then when you, yeah and then when you look at um kind of what it's doing it's it's an alternate finisher of sorts that is decompressing your opponent now best case scenario is you're going to be able to put four cards back climax combo list and i will admit that's pretty nice but um if if we're going to be kind of like thinking oh everything's going to go right in this game you might as might as well assume that across the board and you're winning through other cards other combos i'm thinking realistically you maybe have two of this event and that's still like somewhat cost efficient but uh i think if you're running Charo top end it's counterintuitive they're do trying to do two different things and i've already stated back in yellow that i think Charo top end in Charo chia is uh is much more worth it and even if you're running chia top end which we'll see later on dude you don't want to pitch this anyways you don't want to pitch any cards because you're going to need the resources yeah you gotta you gotta pay to pitch two and of course we'll, we'll get to that in a second but you're already bleeding hand um you so, can maybe get away with one of these but and Q finisher it, characters i guess you could argue yeah but then at the same time you're in this rainbow everything's going great land where you have enough stock to play all of these you get double of your finisher on reverses which is is pretty nice good for you and you have like three or four of the event in waiting room i think that you really just have to assume that your game is gonna go bad and kind of build your deck around okay even if it's bad i can still do good things whereas this i feel is is kind of a, a high roll to be honest Really it's a good card, it. but like you're you're relying on luck, and you're making, in my opinion, four slots in your deck a little bit weaker than they ought to be. If there was a bonder, this whole event would sh uh, completely change. I'd probably give, like, oh, playable uh, like, to the event, like, and, like, like a bonder, playable or card. even like you know, like like I said earlier, a card, a Kwamesh Kamigaku just grab this directly, or even Kwamesh Kamigaku could possibly grab events because. No, it's like a Buggy Girl Union style ability. Yeah. All right, well, gentlemen, let's discuss this in limited, shall we? Okay. First off, double rare event, double rare, double rare, double rare for the creature half. What's the event? Uncommon. Rare. Uncommon. Okay, so uh, uncommon events are basically rare. So, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be a bit hard to find. Oh, I don't think this is very viable in limited. Like, like you're, you're, you're grabbing limited only because you're just playing a single eleven K healer beast. Right, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And to get this as my double rare, oh man! Yeah, you missed out on a lot of better double rares. Um, for 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 some reason, two people before you skipped on this pick, and in the last pack or two packs, you got the event, and we're like, yeah, this is the one that I'm gonna do. Um, it's it's just rather unlikely. Um, even in constructed, I think that getting all four is kind of a waste of a couple of deck slots and to to even try to rely on this and limited uh, like you were saying it's just an 11k healer it's not actually doing what it's printed on the card to do honestly speaking gentlemen i cannot be that nice to this card i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to niche i'm gonna have to niche the creature half and um let let uh let me see here Oh, oh, I gotta find I gotta find a good one for oh, this one. I'm also missing the character, like like a character. You know, your character says some marrying you know, of you know, precise healer, but yeah. Um, same with me. I, I already kind of gave my ratings niche for the character, bad for the uh, event. Like the event just needs a little bit more supports. Uh, the character itself, like. That's a really good alt finisher effect. If you can get four cards back into your opponent's deck, it's like 
that's kind of insane that's, that's pretty good cli yeah. that's climax combo level but you're thinking like rainbow happy land where everything yeah, goes yeah, right yeah. for you and why schwartz is just not that game no my uncle behave yourself i will give you a taste of the witch's anger uh, i'm sorry Who's the cure for such insolence curses <laughs> and that is always the double for my default <laughs> oh man hey we move on here we have October Fest Zero Zero Fifteen Hundred. Uh, on play, mill two. If you mill the climax this way, choose one of your opponent's characters in the front row and it gets power minus one thousand turn. And she is an on play discard climax to salvage a bloom character or a character with sorrow or chia in its card game. Front row only! Front row only! Come on, Bushy! This needed to be back row to be like something really relevant but yeah, it's just, not uh, you know but 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 you for the most part has said back row has sanctity oh um, yeah so back, back row the most you can do is 500 up until you get to like level two which it, is it, <laughs> it, 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 excuse me sir star wars would like a word with you okay it's exception not the rule yeah that definitely there's a reason exception. why for the most part we haven't seen force really pop back up all that much after star wars it's not the Matic of uh, uh, mommy, mommy man. Yeah. Excuse me, yeah, sir. I should not pop back up that much. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but the the mill two here is a, a great utility thing. Literally in yellow, we were going on and on about how much yellow green needs mill, and this was this set's personal answer. Last set, dear my sister, we got the clock bomb that also mills two and salvage pitches. Uh, this one we can get a nega thousand and a uh, a climax filter. I can, um, ditch, I can ditch those damn bars finally. Yeah, that's where this card is most relevant. You technically now have an eight bar deck where you're probably playing the new chia combo, which we'll get to in a little bit, and the level three chia combo. And with eight bar, you're going to have bars coming into your hand. And so this is going to be especially relevant. It's going to be your mill option. Um, the neg 1000 can potentially help uh, with those combos because they're both on reverse and it discards climaxes. Um, in the yellow green that I kind of see happening, where it's mostly yellow combos instead of on reverse green combos. Like, this mill is strictly worse than the Dear My Sister Clock Bomb. I'm not saying even that this is a bad card. I just think there are better options outside of this. Um, I do respect the design that ki kind of came into this. They were like, okay, gold bar is going to need a filter. Green, like, we've got this going on. And then we need a mill too. And this helps reverses. Like, they were trying to hit all of the things. And I think they did. But at the same time, I think that the gold bar path is not the strongest that you can kind of take in new gotcha user. Honestly, honestly speaking, though, it, it's one of those if you're running, like especially if you're even if you're running just four bars, you know, it's nice to be able to get them out of your hand. Th this is true, but I will also say that there is a ton of ways that Sharochia can kind of get through your hands like we were, we were talking about last time the uh clock fix for four that's oh, yeah, yeah. literally pitch pitch four and while you don't always want to clock yourself um i think that there's just also other things going on in the deck where it's like yeah you you can afford to not play this card and play maybe better cards uh because your your hand can fix itself in in a couple of other ways now, outside of Chia and Shadow, I'm going, um... Yeah, this does not make the cut. Uh, like like we were saying in the, uh, the, the runner, level zero is just insane for Is the Order of Rabbit. It's probably... It's good. Yeah, it, it's one of their best levels, and it's unfortunate that level zero is the most ir irrelevant, I would say, because it's like... You've got all these strong utility effects, strong power, board presence, but then your opponent goes up a level, and they they don't really care. They're kind of just smushing over everything. 
even if your card quality is better. Um, right. Yeah, right. This, this, in the Bloom deck, you don't need this mill, um, so I don't think this makes the cut. Uh, but in 8-bar, I would definitely consider this card. Now, in Limited, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah li limited. Limited. It's it's rare if I if I come across this and it's kind of going with my build. Yeah, I I think I take it. I wouldn't take more than two in limited, even though in an eight gold bar just, deck uh, I'd probably just wear. That's the one we see too, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It really just depends on the on the box and. Like, like sometimes the box says no, none of these. <laughs> yeah. It could be but, none of it for all four of us. Right. Yeah, it's right. A, it's a possibility. But hey, I, I, you know, this is our very good chance. It's gonna be like you know, go one, go box thing. You know, whoever gets it, give 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 cash complain. Yeah, it, it's it's not a bad card in the slightest, even in a constructed uh, oh, no. setting. Like, like, you know, it's, 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 it's free, just it's like free mill and free hangout. Yeah, you just look at all the other cards you could be playing, and you're like, "Damn, there's just no room for this." You know, get this, get, get this, get this girl a playable. Yeah, I also have playable in the little thing that I have set up. Right, right, right. Like, <laughs> like, like, I guess it's still useful overall. You know, again, it's like this card does what you want. It, what... Mm. Yeah, if, if you're not bloom trait reliant, um then you can maybe run the DMS uh, clock bomb, and that might be more effective mill because it might have a little bit more utility for you because it still ditches a card. Uh, but the, the, this one's solid. It's, it's just hard to justify in most decks. All right, next. Okay, I guess that's the reason cards now. While there will be like some red and blue stuff popping in, they're here because uh, they're here for a green combo. Or supposed to be forcing you to do it in this green combo. <laughs> so oh see. boy. Okay, Culture Festival Tour Shadow 002K. At the beginning of your climax phase, if you have cult Culture Festival Tour DZ, choose one of your other Bloom, Shadow, or Chia in its card name and give them a thousand. And you may pitch, you pay one pitch of CX and spend. And salvage any chi any bloom, shadow, or chia. <coughs> Bad. <coughs> oh, Sorry. Man. Sorry, oh, I had man. something in my throat. <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right, Ian. All right. Uh, so the Cultural Festival Tour Rize, the one that this needs to give its power pump, which is irrelevant, by the way, um, is at the beginning of your climax phase, if you have the Shara we just talked about, choose one of your other Bloom or Rabbit House characters. It gets a thousand power until end of turn. Pay one, rest two, look at top four, add a Bloom or Rabbit House character from those, and put the rest in the waiting room. So uh, Rize. Uh, being the better girl than Charles, just by a little bit, sorry, personal bias, um, is slightly more playable than that Charo, and that Charo is garbage. Oh, it's, man. It, we could go ahead and like, just talk about these two cards, like, you know, part of the pack, you know, because you guys are, like, you know, interacting strictly with each, each other. We, we could go ahead and like, talk about them here. Yeah, right. okay, so, so, so the idea behind these... Um, as you can see, kind of from the art, the the stars on the wall in the yeah, background, yeah. It, it's it's cut from the exa exact same shot uh, as yeah. art wise, and so that's kind of why they play off each other. These are the, supposed to be the back row for the new Exodia combo. For those of you who know the old Exodia combo, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, there's this deck called Best Shot, which oh, needs no. five. <laughs> Yeah, it needs five individual different cards of two different colors uh, to send a climax that you play into your memory, effectively taking a climax out of the game forever to give everything 4,000 power. Now, you can judge the merits of this. It's really a meme deck, but um, this is like the newest iteration. They They don't combine in any way, but this is like... If you have all five of the, the characters from the show, you get to do this special thing. And these are the back row. Um, the, the power pump itself, technically, the, uh, the combo has like 
a lot of on reverse elements. Uh, this Sharo being like a spammable uh, climax ditcher, like there there have been games that I have had three or four climaxes in a five card hand, and I'll admit, like yeah, I kind of gave up on those games. I really didn't think that I was gonna win. Uh, even with this card, a spammable hand fixer, you're spending three or four stock to fix that little problem, and you're probably going to be way behind in the game anyway. I don't think this pay one discard a climax is super relevant. It's relevant for the combo, but once we see more of the combo, uh, I'll see, I'll say why. But this this Charo in particular is like bad. It's terrible. Uh, at that point, man, just press the concede button. Yeah, the the the, pro the problem it fixes is you either you have one CX in hand and you're paying one when literally the last card we looked at did this for free, right. or you have three or four climaxes in hand and you should just give up anyway. the The game is just a little too rough for you right now. Nothing you can really do. Even uh, if you do this, there's the odds are high that you don't come back from something like that. Exactly. I mean, am I wrong when I say just press the concede button at that point? Mm -hmm. the, the, there's there's cards in this game that are like over the top, kill your opponent, win more cards. This is you're losing so bad that you somehow decided to slot this into your deck and it doesn't even make things that much better. So don't plan for the absolute worst case game that is really just going to make you say, I hate Boy Schwartz. Just plan for a regular game. You don't play this yeah, outside of the meme and new Exodia deck. It's it's bad. It's uh, bad. Uh, my, my biggest question, Ian, best shot support where? Uh, that 1-1 one, one blue event, bro, we'll get to it at the very, very end of this whole review. The best shot did get support. It just doesn't have best shot or treasure in the name. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. It's, all right, all right. What you're saying, it's not direct support. Damn yeah. it. Uh -huh. it's, it's, more of, it's more of, you know, this, this helps decks. It was, it was specifically intended for best shot, but it does help best shot. If that makes any sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. But <laughs> at, at the same time, <laughs> Okay, DZ is slightly better. Okay, yeah, yeah really, that really, I really, I can admit. Nice. I have like it's I have not it's, used it's, card it's, like tap, this. It's tap the back row, pay one, get most likely guaranteed character. Yeah, so I I don't see a world in which you don't get one character that's also planning for the, like the absolute worst, like Shara. Like if you hit four and any combination of events and CX is like that's real rough. Your deck just kind of hates you at that point. But um, I don't know how to super fairly kind of evaluate this card, but it somewhat reminds me of the Konosuba Resonance card that's pay one, tap self, reveal top yeah, three. It, it, it's kind of like that where, but you know, we say here does not specifically require you to have any specific card in your hand. There's also a gigantic difference, gentlemen. That's yeah. a tap up. This is a tap two. Yeah, it's a tap two. True, it's a it's a tap two. It's and tap I think two, in, like, in limited don't... that makes it a lot better oh, of a oh, card. Definitely. And... Oh, yeah. yeah. This is probably but low key, this is probably like you know, what was like low key stuff was limited. Star. It all star limited, limited Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You, you know what you know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, limited saved DC from the incinerator. I was gonna incinerate them both. Yeah, th this card is just slightly more playable. Even in Constructed, I think that you probably are going for your brainstorms, but I have never tested something like this where, like, instead of my brainstorm, what if I just do a tap two guaranteed brainstorm one every single time? Yeah, on top of and, that, and, you know, and, I, I like a brainstorm because it's a flexible, you know, you don't have to go all far in. Mm -hmm. Or it's a brainstorm, but, uh, forces you to mill for or five, depending on what it is. Or yeah. six. Or, or three. <laughs> I, I, th I think as far as Gacha Usa goes, there's only fours and then one five, which the one five isn't relevant anymore with all the new stuff. But yeah, right. this, right. is, this is something that I would like niche 
if if you're really not feeling any of the brainstorms or if you really want to try like guaranteed plussing out on the side uh i would say like this is a card to look into don't write this off in limited it's fantastic it's an uncommon you're going to come across it all the time um you might not get the power boost but a pay one rest to brainstorm hit one sounds pretty decent to me yeah i'll, yeah. I'll actually give I'll, I'll actually a play up of minus because of her you know she's a powerful all-star in limited and hang on as you were saying as you were linked earlier like maybe you could use this over a brainstorm if you don't need to like have a specific name brainstorm macro for it yeah because the the brainstorms in this set in a limited context is is probably the hardest thing to overcome there's like one brainstormer that's not a double r that actually pluses you and it's at level two so that's just terrible you you take this and in a limited context this is your brainstorm and you're like thank you bushy I enjoy this card. Give this the playable minus. It is an all-star in limited. Literally, this makes limited Gochi Usa like Bloom in limited playable. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. I got a. Oh, I got a. <laughs> it's really bad. So, I, got, I, got, I, got, I know Ian already decided to do that. He has someone saying no quotes here. Um, what, what 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 is the cure for what is the cure for such such disorders? The cultural festival tour. Hey man, oh, oh no. Let, where, is, where, where is Cheryl Hagen? To, to a culture festival, I hope. To a culture festival, I hope. The, the only way that they could keep this general vibe and still make like a better card is if it was an on act, but they get removed that pay one card. If you could just automatically filter climaxes on your turn, that's the only way this card even begins to be relevant. But still like th- this is that 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 suddenly turns into very playable even it was, well, yeah but l- let's let's be real between that and all the other zeros you might play one of this and the yeah. way it is now this specific card out of the five is like the least playable and makes it almost damn near impossible to play new exodia it's like that this card's that bad no no no. The, the, no this card has a purpose as a coaster for my drink this is true but he is she she she's cute though you don't want to abuse her like that shout out, is my, out favorite, shout out is my best girl in this show so <laughs> and and you'd still put a coast uh user as a coaster oh, so that's sorry, just... sorry. i'm sorry man it's so bad <laughs> All right, next. And, all right. So, Dreamy Time Coco, 104500, with the Rebel House and Boom Trace. On push, gets 1500 power until end of turn. And when her battle point comes reverse, and you have any coin max in your promise area, you may blind stop. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. red Actually, card Ian, coming in the green. Okay, Ian, you, you first. Um, yeah, so this card was in the initial batch of reveals where we got to see all the SP cards. Like, this was one of the uh, cards that I was like, oh, this buffs old Rabbit House, even before we knew it was part of some Exodia combo. So as a standalone card, it's actually not terrible, um, but we, we just got revealed uh, to so many, like more playable level ones that blind stocking off the top might be a little eh um your plus 1500 power is really nice like a 6k 7k with the with a climax blind stock it's it's a level one that's gonna kind of like plus you in the long run um it gets overshadowed outside of this context, but if we're looking at the Exodia cards, this is in like my top two. Okay. okay. I see this card in a lot of lists, and I'm going, Gochi Usa is not that desperate for stock. It was back in the day. You needed, uh, every Gochi Usa player knows the cost seven and 11. Seven for two of your Coco Chino, 11 for three. And if you got to that dream 11 stock for your finisher, you're like, that's great. And this just helps that. But new Gachi Usa, on the other hand, does oh. not have a stock requirement for, for, for what it's doing now. 
or, or at least looking that exorbitant. Yeah, n n no, nothing well, that's you, 11. You, 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 11 you, makes you, you... You gotta pay stock, but you're not looking at an exorbitant number like that. Yeah, 11 is just... You have to build your deck around it. Your deck does not function throughout the game without brainstorming and not have some alternate way to make stock. This is an alternate way, so if you're like... Oh, I have old rabbit house and all the new stuff is too expensive, but I still want to upgrade my deck. This is probably where I'd go. This just naturally, no matter what the climax is, will generate you stock. You're probably getting the reverse at like 7k power. If you don't, it's like you didn't pay anything to get this effect, so it's fine. It's but um, yeah, it's 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 super cheap. Most of the set is cheap, so if you're like, I can't afford these upgrades, I don't know what you're doing. Like anyway, the the shipping cost is going to be more than than this card itself, and it's going to help out old Gachiusa. But in the the greater context, you probably don't need this card. The power level's gone up, and the stock cost has gone down. So, uh, I'm going. This set is cheap, man. This set ain't cheap. <laughs> okay, listen. You're talking to the wrong guy. I've spent far too much money. If you do all base rarity, it's affordable if you go beyond that please don't talk to me i've got a lot of financial problems now just because of these lollies it's it's oh, not okay. right okay fair enough i'm going base rarity i'm going hot oh, damn these are expensive man <laughs> but not this specific card and okay, it's no, no, unfortunately no. because this card is outclassed in in a couple of ways there's literally a you're choosing between this card and one other red card that of course we'll get to when we get to red and uh, hopefully i'll mention it when that day comes but this card just slightly loses out even though it's it's a fine card on the own. honestly speaking I, pref I i think i know what you're talking about and honestly i would prefer that over this because i'm going what stock issues do i have i'm going i'm not running old uh coco and chino combo anymore like i'm not running that combo anymore so i'm going Again, you're talking to somebody who goes, uh, sure, ten stock for ten stock for triple level three combo. That's fine. Yeah, it's 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 perfectly fine. And um, what what I will say that along with the red combo that of course we'll get into uh, next time, that combo doesn't care about what climax you play to kind of do its plussing. Um. This one doesn't either, so just randomly, if you've got good luck, but both you and your opponent are kind of staying kind of low level, you're going to outplus because any climax you get into your hand, you're getting more stock, more hand, whatever it is. But um, it's, it, it's, it's not crazy. It's th this, this card is okay. It's, it's, and it's that's serviceable. It. serviceable. It's, yeah. not, it's, not ter it's not terrible at all. It's more right. of just I don't think it's necessarily needed now. Right, it's not really a need. Like, if you if you if you need it, it's only because you know, like you know, it could be like something that Ian's saying, or you're still trying to play, um, that that old combo, or you're playing like a more specialized deck where you're trying to do something insane. Mm. Fair, fair enough. But okay, it this is probably the best card of the package. This is probably the best card of the package. So honestly speaking, I'm gonna have to. Okay, in limited now. In limited things change considerably. Yes. Limited, yes. you're in in rare, so you're probably going to see less of this card. But well, it is true. worth picking up more because, regardless of the color of climax you play, it's still solid. You know, uh, and, and just because of that, I'm going to have to get this the playable actually. Uh, it in my uh thing here that I have where I I've rated all the cards beforehand. I agree it's playable slash mean because we're we're talking about this in a very realistic context right, right, whereas right. you, you got to remember as a viewer uh the last two cards we went to this is the third card in the bigger exodia combo <laughs> so there's a, a bigger brain plan than just this <laughs> right 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 okay and yeah, I gotta agree here, you know, this is a pretty solid card, you know, the fact that this can act on any climax beats her a solid 6k on her own in terms she's played. 
I, you know, have some uses in a fair number of strategies and in, in both limited and in constructive play. For sure. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's truck on along. Oh, oh, yeah, oh for yeah. I, fuck's sake. I know you got to say your piece here, Gavin. I, I will let you... Okay, Dreamy <laughs> Time Chia, 1045. When this card attacks, if you have... If all of your characters are Bloom... Or ch have Chia or Shadow in their names. This card game. Choose one of you guys. Give them a thousand. This card attacks. If you have every day that might have been the goal, the common bar trigger. You climax here. Give one of your Bloom or, ch or Shadow or Chia the in card name the following ability. When this reverses its battle opponent, salvage. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, actually, no. Ian, you first. No, no, please. You have to make. Okay, so we we've talked about this before the show. And Gavin is very much on the side of this card sucks. Me, I can see some merits. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, but I, I will let you do your thing and then I will try to defend because there's some good points to be made why this card is not the best combo around. Why okay, why in why in the why in the Sam Hill is this being played? widespread like it, 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 it baffles me it baffles me as to why this card is being played like it's the same card as the owl cessation lethal combo i did not like it four months ago i didn't like it four or five months ago i still don't like it because of the fact that okay at least in owl cessation you had cardinal in goshi usa we do not have jc to potentially re-loop this combo. You know, that was the large justification that I saw for people playing Leafa. Now, we don't have that same excuse in Goshi. All you have is a salvage brainstorm. But uh, and, j j j what, what we're getting this from, where we're saying people are playing this combo, the set just came out very recently, but it's based off what we're seeing on Encore decks. So if you go there, you're going to see a lot of like red finisher top end and this is your level one it's, I mean, just and... card guys. it's also on twitter it's also on twitter and uh, and deck log as well so legitimately speaking japanese pros have already defaulted to this and you... i'm going i don't see why like I, I, i'm going <laughs> where in the sam hill are you playing that six thousand five hundred are getting constant reversals well I, I think, like, you could argue that you're not swapping the combo, but you're not swapping the ability on, like, this card itself, unless you're fielding, or, unless you're fielding just three of them, then that's a different story. You know, that that's a different story. That is the ideal. That is the ideal. That's what most players try to aim for, the right. triple. And, you know, that means that the lane that's going to have all three abilities, which I assume that's going to be, like, how you're going to do it, you know, because... Um, Probably only, one case, probably only one real target will remain anyway in cases. Okay, an 8,500. But, gentlemen, try and level with me here. The metagame is full of standby at the moment. Yeah, that's correct. It's full of it. So, again, the simple 1175 with Han Encore and Atsuke Counter says, no, fuck off. Fuck yeah, off. This is really susceptible to anything in the meta. Um, I would say that if your stand, uh, your meta is standby heavy, like this is definitely not the combo for you. Regardless, if you if you can give a one k power pump, Gachi Usa is not doing anything that's reversing level twos with this combo. Your early play killing things are on a counter and a blue one one that bottom decks them. So you don't even get the credit for the reverse. So um, I mean they, they you have anti change counter you know sack counters. You have sack counters at one. They do exist. In fact this set play this set has one and should be playing yeah, that. This set defined that, but that has nothing to do with this card. Right, but that could e easily, you know, make this card get get cut. This card, you know, JCs in 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 thirty days, gentlemen, we'll be seeing the release of Grisaya too. And guess what Grisaya has, and what is on their ban list? Kazuki, genius Kazuki. What is she? A JC clone? Huh? Mm -hmm. I, I I wonder what this card sucks against JC. Like. 
uh, again, Ian, would you even consider this playing? You know, you you're from you're from Arizona. You know, one of the most hospitable hospitable regions for you know reversals. I I wouldn't say I would I wouldn't say hospital. I would say the exact opposite. Inhospitable. Like you're not getting reverses. Right. This, you're not. Yeah. So the, this is concentrating all your reverses to one lane. And so regardless of your if your opponent was running runners, send a stock BS. Like if you get hit level one first and you get three of these, you're probably triple comboing. If your opponent hits level one first, it, you can stack all your things there, but there are just certain matchups where this will not plus you at all. Right. Um, you wouldn't get a single card off of this. Yeah, you'll have to you're you'll be spreading out your on reverses because they have a JC and another card, and as soon as you front attack another card besides the JC, they kill the JC, bounce the other card, and you're getting one one reverse, maybe two if you attack the JC first. Um, or that's that's assuming JC's not in the not in the bloody back row. Yeah, the, or if they have more than one, like right, <laughs> or, or or you're facing standby. Yeah, so. Or, so the 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 thing about this combo is it's on a gold bar and i think that is the divisive reason the main reason why people are playing it they want to play more climaxes even though in most of the lists i see if they play this combo they don't play the combo or the card we previously went over uh, right, on reverse right blind right. stock they're they're not in it for the exodia part they're just in it for Right. I can and, give on and, attack and, and on you, reverse. Right. And you could argue that you know, a lot of players will probably tell you that gold bars kind of like the antithesis of standby. Yeah. Because you're, gold, you're trying to get raw damage output by swapping gold bars. Yeah, so gold bar, you're going to get turn in after, your hand turn all, turn all the after. time. It's, it's literally the entire design behind the card. So if you're slamming CXs every turn, then yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I guess you standby damage output. Yeah, but then if you look at that logic, you look at any other deck that's ever been printed with a gold bar, and you're like, why are they not running gold bar combo? Aren't you slamming a one k one every turn? And it's like that doesn't work in other things because there's better options in other things, and I think there's better options here. Yeah. Just because it's on a gold bar doesn't mean anything and you're getting an on attack give on reverse to something uh there are other combos that are on attack on here so i don't know why you're worried about the amount of plusing you're doing um it just doesn't make a huge lot of sense to me again spoiler alert I i'm gonna say this now i'm gonna i'm gonna say this now you know spoiler warning for the audience why aren't why not run fugo at that at that point using that logic yeah if if you're too worried about like oh my red level uh level one slash two combo is not working for me I keep missing on my pluses and you look to this it doesn't make sense the 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 fugo combo uh is on a blue and it's on a pants so you're gonna more generally you might not be getting the gold bar every turn but you're more easily getting climaxes into your hand. And it's on attack regardless of what happens. Not even on reverse. It gets a little bit bigger than this Chia. Uh, it's it's just generally safer. So I really don't get the uh, uh, obsession I, I, with Gold Bar. I, I'm 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 so, I'm sorry, but I I honestly cannot defend this. You know what? I gave Leafa the mercy wish back in Al back in Alice's station, but uh 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 no no I cannot be I will not. I will not extend the same courtesy and courtesy this time. Uh, okay, uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna do limit it here. Take a look at Japan. They may ha they have sunk to the lowest level of humanity. The, the people drink instant tea and watch slice of li life anime, which is infested with diabetes. May may Onko have mercy on us. That is a, a damning condemnation. For Green, you've got uh, given a lot of like real bad. I'm sleeping on this card. Um, for me, uh, my, my first thing is meme because it's, it's a meme to choose this card as your, your main combo. And it's also part of the Exodia combo and you're going to see it all come together in the next card. Uh, but 
it's it's meme and then maybe niche if you're looking at it outside of the but there's so many better combos if you're worried about not plussing off other combos the the blue combos better the yellow combos better the red combos better the only place you play this is like i want to play eight gold bar because i want all of the climaxes and i want my stock to try to be clean and okay, okay. It, that's not a good enough justification to make it get a a great rating but some people like gold bar so run it if you want but eh, very eh. all right sir when your I, turn yeah, when i was a kid i wanted to become a key cultivator damn <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're not extending. You're not extending Chia the same mercy we gave Leafa. Again, Leafa at least had Cardinal from our station one. This? Oh hell! <laughs> yeah, there was some just... justification for Leafa. There was some justification for Leafa. I, I, re I really want to hear the arguments for this because I can yeah, think of what they might people, be. People, people, leave, but... leave in the comments. We are glad. We are glad to hear you out. Yeah, but I, I just. Don't get the logic behind it. All right, all right, and well, your turn got, to read. We, we got, got this. All right, this is me. So, uh, Oktoberfest Chino act climax combo pay to put this card in winger. If you have a, another culture festival tour, Sharo, Dreamy Time Chia, Dreamy Time Coco, and culture festival tour Rize, choose up to one blue bloom rabbit house character in your waiting room, add it to your hand, choose up to one. Every day might have been a uh, every day that might have been. It's the gold bar in your waiting room, and put it into the climax area. And then you can rest this. Choose one of your bloom or rabbit house or blue characters, and it gets a thousand power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So you combine the right arm of Exodia, the right uh, leg of Exodia, the left arm, the left leg, and this is supposed to be the head. But hear me out. So, the general idea here is you take the Sharo, that's pay one, pitch a Climax. You pay one card, pitch the Climax to get a part of this combo. So you've paid one stock. Apparently, you have like three of the other cards, four of the other cards. Maybe you play the Rize and the Sharo, you rest the Rize, and you've built your deck to where you can get the fifth and final piece. The only uh, colors you have that you need are red and green because uh, red's your other part that's level one and green is the part of the combo. This, you pay two to put a climax that you already had in your hand that you pitched with the other card back onto the field. So you have currently paid three to salvage a character. Uh, once you use this card's effect, like, t tell me if that sounds good to you. Pay three, sack a character, so you're not even plussing, salvage. No? That, that, is, that is the math of this card. So, assuming that you have the gold bar in hand, you don't even need this October Fest Chino. A gold bar. The easiest climax to get in your hand in all of the game. Um... You you per you specifically pay it one stock and pitch the climax to grab a card and then you have to pay another two and sack of this to get the climax that you are the, the math is terrible this card is terrible this card needed to be a thousand times better to make exodia even worth it there are parts of exodia that are worth playing and this is why you don't play the pure new Exodia deck because the math is shit. This card, garbage. I, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather play best shot, Ian. What about you? A thousand percent. I've got max rarity, best shot. Are you kidding, are you kidding me? I won't touch this deck. <laughs> literally, literally we, we'd rather exile a climax than <laughs> yeah, play this thank card. Thank you, yeah. the agony to, to figure getting this thing off. Uh, the only thing that that Chino deserves is a apple flavor, apple apple juice flavored beer. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I I also have to give this the meme rating because it is the Exodia combo. But uh, do do not 
get it wait, twisted. Wait. This is a bad meme. This is big chungus level. It's garbage. Uh, they're, they're not casting with Mike. Yeah. We're not casting with Mike. How are we going to end up there? I don't even. I don't. Do... Yes, yeah, so Mike's one of my best friends. He's mm-hmm. also an Arizona player. He vouched for me to be on the show. Uh, uh, we had him. We had him two reviews ago. Yeah, he he was he was part of Circus Twenty. He did a great job. Go check it out, everybody. Uh, Circus Twenty is actually really relevant in the meta, so that's why I would probably say take the time, learn about the new stuff because that's going to help you in a matchup against it. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, right there, sir. Yes, I can't be behave yourself. I'll give you a taste of my espresso. Yeah, <laughs> I said be behave yourself. <laughs> and, and, and then, and then, and then it, it, the scar bad. Yeah. All right, yeah. sir. Yeah. Just on, think guys. about the math for one second, and you'll throw up in your own mouth because this card is terrible. <laughs> and, uh, I, I'd rather. I'd, I would rather purposely exile a climax to play this garbage. Mm-hmm. And and what you get out of it is resting this card and then killing it to give a character a thousand till the end of your opponent's turn on oh, a combo man. that's forty five hundred on the backswing. So does not matter. Not even close. Oh, I have one zero nine Ks. What are you doing with them? Exactly. Big, big this is bad. Big card. <laughs> Alright, you're you're up next, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Gaia Geroy Chiyo, 21,500. It's a 2,500 power counter where you can also pay two to refresh. Yo, finally some meat. Yeah, your new your new free fresh counter and it's bloom trait. That's the the two most important things. You, you know what? I almost want to pick this card up despite owning the Chino version, but I'm going. Wait a second. If I play the Chia version, I add, I add plus one to my DZ whiffing. Damn it! Yeah, and I like right. Chia, Oof. and I like Chia better than Chino. So wait, you oh, don't right. whiff on the the DZ combo? It's no, no, I'm talking, no, I'm talking about DZ as in ah uh, the DZ the the yeah real that, that that card. I'm like a, yeah. I whiff on DZ if I if I play the Chia version. I'm going. Damn it! I like Chia better. That's yeah. like the only detractor from that. In a bloom-based deck, this is your your bread and butter. You want to run the free fresh. Um, this is it's an amazing. extra green fix for those of you who are running the gold bar. Which again, eh, but still, like here here's an extra color. I mean, I it's mean, it's kind of sad. Most of these supposed influence aren't even running Chia. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. This green card is the probably the most universal besides the runner. Um, I, I give this card a playable. Well, it limited, yes. Yeah, so you, you, you very so refresh and limited. Like why? Why not, man? You avoid taking refresh point and limited. <laughs> I saw some guys he could stock out. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Give give Chia here the playable. Yeah, it's, just, uh, it's, just, it's playable. It's a generic card. You don't technically need color to put it in any other deck. It just got that very relevant new bloom trait. Oh, um, and and and, and uh, green tea. Green tea could also could have used this as well. All right, yo, uh, go go Frank, go call her Frank. Yeah, Frank can Be- find before this. you were you were running the blue one maybe because you had like some event that could just search backups. Um, if not, you weren't running it. This gives you an extra tool in yellow green, which has already been getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, thank yeah, you for yeah. bringing up that point. I, I I almost I almost want I almost wanted to main yellow green as my main go to use deck, but I'm going. Oh, it's not, it's just not there. It's just not there. It's close, but it's just not there yet. I think it's there, but uh, I I would love to do more testing. I but still more, just gotta wait for all my cards to get More as a fun deck, if anything. Right, it's more. Of a it's gonna be fun, fun and it's gonna be good. But uh, you, you got to consider whether or not it's going to be, like, top-tier competitive. And we'll right, definitely uh, have to see. Right, Ian. Like, when I say, like, main the deck, I'm, I'm talking, can I take this to Nats and not feel bad? I think if you're taking a Gacha Yusa deck in today's day and age, regardless of what it is, this deck is in your national, uh, this card is in your nationals deck. At least one of them. 
Right, right, right. right. Yeah, so definitely well, like solid playable card. It's it's good. You know, I'm talking about green tea in general, but I'm going, you know what? It's so close. It's so close. It's like, I, 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 oh, man, it's so close. I wish it could, but, oh, all right, next. Okay, ooh, stacked morning chia, three, two, nine, five. I'm a usa on a bloom. So, uh, during your turn, this gets 500 for each of your other bloom, shadow, or chia. It's an ETB draw to ditch one, and the combo... When your battle opponent becomes reversed, if you have the day to bear fruit, the gold, the common gold bar trigger, you may pay the cost of two and ditch two. If you do, burn your opponent for one and then three. Hey, look, it's, hey, look, it's the marathon training episode. This was a good one. I, I really like this one. So personal note for me, excuse me, sir, does this read very familiarly to you? Uh, a little bit. I'm going, wait a fucking second. Wait a fucking second. Uh, also, Ian, if does like you've watched that video, does this read very familiar? Does this read very? Does this seem familiar to you? Uh, yeah, a bit. Uh, I recognize it. Uh, for the one you're referencing, as well as like this started really getting popular when we got uh Magia Records with their gold bar combo. Uh, it was costed a little different from what I I recollect, but burn one, burn three. Like, just take it as a strict upgrade to old Coco Chino. Oh, it's... like, it, it, it's more of, okay, I I want to play this. I actually legitimately want to play this as my top end. My only problem with it is the word on reverse. Like, Yep. It's, it's, it's great damage. It's impactful. It's a huge finisher. You, you had Coco Chino before, burn one, burn one. Burn one, burn three, like... If the three sticks, you're a really happy, happy guy. If it doesn't stick, well, the the point of the burn one, burn one in the combo was to, like, get rid of their climaxes and then maybe hit for a bigger swing. Like, that still gets rid of their climaxes. It's doing the same job. Um, and, the, and the timing for the damage is a little bit better. You don't need as much stock up front because it's on reverse. But the, the biggest problem here is for sure the on-reverse uh, need to be able to do this. Like, it, it, it's, not even, it's not even the cost. The cost I can deal with. I can play around that. I think that's very appropriate for the amount of damage you're getting. And it, it, it's one of those things that makes me go, if this was fever-based, oh god, yes! Holy shit, we're, we're in the money now, boys. Like Chia is gigantic. Mm -hmm. uh, on your on your turn, um, assume and assuming that you're already planning on playing this combo, you're more likely to run like the back row assist cards than you would in a deck focused on the cancel burn finisher and yellow. So you're you're probably going to be very very big. The the reverse is an easy thing to come by if your opponent has things to reverse. Like. I, uh, like it, it makes me a lot happier than the other gold bar combo. I'm going, you know what? I, I actually, you know, when the first, when the set first spoiled, I was going to myself, thinking to myself, dude, dude, Chia, holy crap, Chia's scary, man. I and think it's that I actually respect if people, if you do rank as someone who's willing. Okay. Like, of course, in a very inhospitable me metagame, of course, Chia is dead weight. But mm -hmm. in others, I, holy I would crap, love, she is yeah, amazing. I would love to run this combo. This combo's potential seems much, much higher than the Shara I'm planning to run. But since I know my meta well enough to be like, okay, maybe one reverse, they probably got a lot of tricks. You you just can't rely on this. Uh, and so I have to play the Shara. But this Chia, it, it's great. It's it's a fantastic finisher. It's better than most of what you had. If the words on reverse didn't scare me so much, I'd probably be on this. The, 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 the pitching aspect of this is also super negligible too, because it pluses one. So it replaces itself in your hand once you play it and it's on a gold bar. So if you trigger that any time in the attack step, you are absolutely fine. You're getting oh, a yeah. card in hand. Yeah. Your blind stock is going to get paid out by this reverse. It's, it's awesome. 
like honest, okay, honestly, okay. Spe- honestly speaking, man. It, 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 oh, it, it, and guess what? In limited, highly plausible because number one, this is only a rare, and yeah. it's a common bar, so you're gonna find it pretty easily. Honestly speaking, this is your best finisher in limited too. Mm-hmm. Most well, likely, yeah. Sure. Sure you only be able to get the one, but that's still pretty good. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. This is the same damage output as Birdcage Diva. If you're scared of Birdcage yeah. Diva, you're scared of this. Yeah, yeah it's it's sense. just a, a little bit different, but uh, the damage is the same. I would argue that for for the cost, it's on a better trigger. Um, it's it's just a real hard toss up between what you play in the Charo Chia deck of this one or the new Charo one. And yeah, if you got the balls for it, if it works in your meta, if you can get two reverses consistently, I'd say go for this one. Like, honestly speaking, I honestly wanted to play this in Bloom, pure, like Bloom overall. Like, it's, it's also a, a decent idea. I Bloom deck finisher is the only question I feel like I have unanswered in all of the new set. What do I want to play? Because I'm playing all the other finishers and all the other decks. Do I try to make this one? Do I generate enough stock to be able to afford it? And uh, I'll definitely have to do some more testing. I, can, I, 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 mean, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I'll get back, like, liter- literally, and guess what? For the budget players, this is 50 cents. So the price of a McDouble in the Bay Area, it, oh, come on, man. You, 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 it's cheaper than that. Like, holy shit! You know what, man? I, I'm so it, 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 my mood changed instantly from reading the other Chia combo. Yeah, <laughs> that gentleman can cl- can clearly clearly tell the change in tone. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, well, while I think that this uh, probably won't get a level of recognition that it really deserves, it would make me the happiest guy in the world if this started to be the meta finisher. Uh, I don't think it will be just because it needs the on reverse. Yeah. It's kind of expensive, but the the price of it is at a really nice place. The rarity and the power of it, it's like you got that on a rare and a climax common. That's awesome. But it's it's just a solid card in constructed and limited it, anywhere. You just have to compete with harder to get and more expensive slightly better cards in more scenarios. It's right, a, right, right, right. Definitely. All right. It's time for verdicts, gentlemen. Playable. I, I, yeah, I guess, I guess it's a solid playable card, you know. But again, like, it's, it, it's main drawback, as we've all been saying here. It, it needs a reversal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Other than that, this, this card's very serviceable. I think you know exactly what I'm going to give this. <laughs> no, we're oh, going yeah. even further yeah. beyond, yeah. boys. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm like, I, you know what? I can respect it. Our fun game is I better start seeing you run this card then if you rate it so highly. You, you, again, again, man. Uh, well, if I'm paying a visit to you, Ian, no! <laughs> I can't play that there. I want to see this out of my own self-interest because I know I can deny the reverse. <laughs> Where's my machine of ice, Bushy? All right, anyway, let's go ahead and move on from here. Oh no, we go back to the cards that aren't good. Uh, a test of courage in the name of adventure, Chia. Uh, at 1 0, 2500 power, Amusan and Bloom trait. When this card attacks, choose one of your characters, it gets plus 3000 power until the end of turn. And at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, choose one of your characters, Sharo in its name, and uh, in your back row, and this card, exchange their positions and stand them. So it's a free stand and swap. It's a free plus 3,000 power. It's a serviceable card, I guess, but I do not see where this goes in any deck. There's just so many better cards. I, 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 would, argue this, I would argue it's not one of those cards that you really like play in Constructed, in particular. I, I can't think of a strategy. Yeah, the no. Only really, the only real line of play I can think of is to stand and swap press and exchange shadow away from an anti-change bomb. That's it. That's, well, but that doesn't work because the shadow has to be in the back row. 
and then this is in the front row, and then you change them, so you'd be moving the show up. Oh, ex excuse me. I, I, I... Yeah, it, it has to be a show in the back row too, and oh, so um, what, what, no. with yeah, so with what cards you're working with in that scenario, you're thinking your brainstorm, your level assist, or like a global assist in yellow green. Um, this uh, is th this is not standing and swapping in anything relevant. It has a pair to itself that will uh, come up to uh, right after this card. Should we go, should but, we um, go over that again since you bring it up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, so we have a test of correction in the game of Adventure Sorrow to 500. So, continuous, if you do not have another character with Shida in the card game, this card cannot move to another spot. And continuous, if you have another uh, test, a test of courage in the name of Adventure Kia, I just spoke about earlier, and she's in front of a level 3 or higher, gets 5,000 power and 1 soul. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Kind, of, kind of a weird package. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so this 2 1 has so many conditions on it that it's completely unplayable. So if you don't have another Chia card, it's not Shara or Chia, so you can't play this in Bloom because it's not looking for the Bloom trait. You have to play this in Yellow-Green. And in the Yellow-Green that I know, like I've said before, it's mostly Shara and then featuring Chia. Uh, so you specifically have to dedicate a lot of things, and even if you do, even if it's just another Chia, you get a 2 one seven, five, that can stand like a normal card so already it's kind of bad then you need this specific other chia that gives 3000 on attack which anything in the Sharo chia deck doesn't really need a plus 3k you're gonna get the reverses anyway with your new level three your new level one is uh way high on power your old level one doesn't even need a reverse and what do you get for running that specific card you get, when it's facing a level 3, it gains 5,000 power and a soul. So on the defense, your opponent is going to know not to put a level 3 in front of a 1-0, 2,500 green. Because it's going to get switched into for like a 12-5 a level 3 killer. And the extra soul is, is, is not, it's not relevant enough. The, this card has too many conditions, it's bad. I'd rather beat my opponent's level threes for present exchange. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're gonna get just as big, and you're gonna get a heal to hand. Exactly. Which is so honestly speaking, um, where 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 are these tests of courage heading to hell? I hope. Is this for the package? Yeah. This... Oh yeah, both of them. Send them. Send them both to the Shadow Road. Dang, a Greek is not even married in uh, limited. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think in the in the limited context, which is the only thing that's buffing up the green one, uh, I would give this card a niche because maybe you can stand swap into a Sharo that I don't know which one would be relevant in a limited context because you can't really rely on that stuff. But plus three thousand to anything seems okay. But the the package that it's part of, that Sharo, is just bad. And I don't think in any constructed uh, environment that either of these cards get to be played. All right, sir. You're, right. The, you're the remaining uh, straggler. Yeah, yeah. So I will also agree with Ian in that uh, Kachia is, is in this, you know, he does have a use in a limited context. The thanks limited on that one? Yeah, thanks limited on that one. Uh, you know what? You don't have to convince me. Thanks, limited to Chia. <laughs> uh, what Shadow is not escape is not escaping. No, so, like it sounded me when I first read, but I'm like, oh, that's just so many things required. Too, too, much, too much, man. Yeah, and the biggest complaint I have about this is it's a complete flavor thing. If you've watched the yeah, anime, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly exactly doing that test of courage, true. and it's like Shadow is supporting. Uh, Chia or Chia supporting Sharo, and Sharo's a more more of a free cat than than Chia, and so, right, 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 right. but she she Sharo claims that it's like I'm there for you. I'm I've grown as a person. I can be there when times get tough and things get scary. I mean, it's a great message, 
but there were so many other points in the show that i would have loved to see a flavorful card based around Definitely. than these two wastes of a slot yeah anyway like i appreciate the uh, flavor but it's not good enough i found the rabbits are the filthiest of the woogie frame counts creatures all right next Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Crown Gift Chia, 1-1, one, one, 6,000. Uh, let's see here, when your other Bloom, Shadow, or Chia and attacks, this card gains X power, where X is the number of, is 500 times your number of Bloom, Shadow, or Chia, and she has Hand on Gore. And it's Ugger. Ugger, excuse me. So, up to so, 2,000. 8, 1, 1, 8k Hand on Gore on attack Or, 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 or 1, 1, 10k. Uh, oh yes, oh yes, 10k. Yeah, the procs twice, <laughs> which is it, what saved this card even in a little bit. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, I'm going to be kind of hitting a, us with like a back in my day thing. Oh, but, yeah, um, I might remember. Um, so, I joined the game kind of around when Gachiusa got its extra booster. Okay. And at that same time, we had uh, Attack on Titan Volume 1. They hadn't gotten Volume 2 yet, okay. and okay. their main level 1 uh, shtick was a Mikasa that turned into like a, an, uh, a level 2 10k, or like a 9.5 or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you would play rabbit house because it was the best deck at the time because it had coco chino and there was this one one chino that uh if you had another coco or rize on attack you would be able to give itself like a um 500 power for every other and it would just naturally gain another 3k because of the rize or coco it would get 500 power over what you needed to reverse that mikasa and so it was a great like tech for your meta to just get over that card and i remember feeling so smart that i was running like two of that card this is like a spiritual successor in, in my mind if you've got a uh, a meta that's got like pretty big cards that end up being like nine five this is like a one of that lets you buff up your character and just take a card out. Um, the, you have much more utility in the set overall, so it's really a personal meta call if you even play this card. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like the design of this, even if I don't think it's the greatest card. Fair enough. It's like Ian said, your mileage may vary. Like... Right, right, right. Yeah, on you, you specifically got to know what you're going to be going up against. Yeah, for um, I agree with that. And honestly speaking, a lot of Y Schwartz is played at the local level, despite, you know, despite my, much to my own chagrin here. Mm. So, yeah, if you know your locals and this works, run it. It's a great card. You're going to be 10K with Encore on a 1 1. It's savable, it's big. You don't have to really worry about, uh, like, it being countered and being killed too often. Um, right. But if, you, if you're going to regionals or nats, then I would say maybe cut this card, put in an, another more just universal card. Uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I, I'm going to leave I'm gonna each count, crown gift here. Yeah, same. That's definitely more of a niche strategy. I agree with you. Um, in limited, you know what? This like, isn't a bad it, investment, yeah, actually. It's, it's not bad. Like, Swing for swing for 10k on the third swing, you're probably yeah. getting over something. In limited, even if your opponent's got like more of the double rares, uh, this is tying with most of like the super relevant things or getting over them slightly. Right. Um, yeah. So th th this card in a limited context, pick up one if you see it and it matches your colors. Two it's maybe. Like, it's more like you know, like I was saying, you know, if you pick it up in limited, you probably can't really come. Yeah, it's got a decent amount going for it. Right, right. Okay. All right, next. Rabbit House Reinforcements Chia. 500-0-0 on Usan Bloom. All your other Rabbit House Reinforcement Sharo, which is a vanilla, by the way. I hate vanillas. Uh, get Continuous. This card gains 2,000 power for each of your opponent's characters in the back row. 
This ability activates up to once per turn when your other vanilla Sharo card is put from the stage to hand. Reveal the top card of your deck. If that card's a level one or higher, add it to hand. If it's a climax, it's a zero. Uh, so this is... I rewatched specifically the entire Bloom uh, season to kind of like comment on flavor or see what I really liked. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. this has no flavor whatsoever with the scene that it's referencing. No. Oh, no, yeah. not really. So, and, and to add on to that, it's absolutely atrocious. So the extra ability that you give this what is that an 8500 vanilla yeah. is that your opponent dictates whether or not you're big or not um you're paying for a 2-1 vanilla and you potentially it's not even guaranteed you play this terrible package and you might get a card added to your hand the, uh, it's complete waste of slots you need two parts to it so even in, in limited i wouldn't even begin to consider this uh, it's terrible. It's a flavor fail. This has nothing to do with when uh, they I, work together at I, Rabbit House. I, they, they were like helping, they were helping Rabbit House because you know they were, they were, they were, they were yeah it was Christmas. It was it was short staffed. A lot of people wanted to go check out the cafe because of you know yeah. I, 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 it, it, it got a review recently that was very good yeah, yeah, and yeah, so. Yeah. It, it doesn't interact with a, a Chino card in any way, which would make this card more flavorful. The, the effects are bad. Like, even if you didn't have to run a vanilla and you got some, like, serviceable card, giving 2,000 power and maybe a plus, it, it, it's, it, like, it's, it's too much to a package, and it just sucks. I don't think this is worth talking more. It's It's bad, both of these cards. Honestly speaking, in limited, uh, no, I don't feel comfortable running this at all. Like if this was, oh. like if, if this was a one zero, I might have looked at it, but as a two one, oh hell no. Yeah, the oh, the, the one the one stock investment, uh, is just not even uh, I, enough. I, enough, it it makes you not play it, even I, if you potentially I'd, plus. I'd rather I'd rather play five ODs, eh, man. Mm hmm. I'd rather hard cast 5 0 instead. Like, at least that. At, at least that has recursion and is and is almost always a 10k. Yeah. Like, you know, sure, it cost me an extra stop. You know, at least she swung for two. Okay, right. sure. She has the same she has the same condition of adding a card to my hand. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, there's just many more benefits. There's just many more benefits for additional bulk, recursion, and hitting for an extra soul. So I'm going, you know, I'm willing to pay the extra one. And most people would have an aversion to what I just said. Most people would shudder at that at that comment. I'm going, it's, you know, they're, like, most people, it, it, it's just better. Like, honestly speaking, oh, man. Where, where, are, Shadow, where are Shadow and Shia headed? To Rabbit House, I hope. The rabbit house environment is like a Christmas cake. I, I, I'm uh, I'm just like going. Oh, I, I've done Chia a lot of dirty this one, but uh, some cards just deserve it. Bushiro has yeah, done, no, that's more Bushiro has done Chia dirty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we have another card here. We have study time Chia. Zero zero five hundred. Uh, can you your other character in your final center spot? Guys, one. Guy. Power and act rest of this card. Choose one of your bloom characters or characters with sorrow or chia in their card games. And it gets a thousand power until end. Oh. This seems like a really interesting one of to play around with. Yeah. Uh, like, it's, like, it's, it's it's all like power. A small, a small number of strategies might appreciate. Yeah, it's it's all power, so if that fits into your strategy, whatever, it has zero utility outside that. It makes your things big uh, regardless of the turn, but um, I I think there's just more cards, more level zeros, even in uh, yellow-green that you would yeah, rather play. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And, 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 and I think you know, I would say that this is one of those uh, hashtag dance mimic cards because... 
using a thousand power every turn, and so, it, someone in your sandwich is going to be a thousand bigger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Thanks, limited. You save this one, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to say I'm going to song that one. Oh yeah, man. I'm an I'm an niche as well. Right, right. right. But uh, narrow range of using constructed, pretty decent. Okay, so overall, dogs on green. Um, it's a little bit too um, desired, but something like some you know we definitely have some nice additions. Yeah, we we definitely have been ragging on the cards individually, but if you look at the Charo Chia deck, it's actually pretty yeah, strong. Charo Charo Chia made up pretty well after going several years without anything for a while. Uh, real support, real support, right? Yeah, you know, uh, buff buff low zero game becoming even buffer. Um, mm -hmm. you know, nice new new top end to consider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. new utility in the free fresh. Right, that nice utility. Is, like, on a, a free train. fresh. That's all. That's a, that has the Chia name. If you care about that, uh, Goblin Slayer Chia OP. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, that right, that's right. that's the card in green that really changes it all. Oh, if there's oh, any card that's definitely. relevant, oh, like yeah. Uh, yeah, we can yeah. clown on all the rest, but just look at that card, and you can see like, wow, that deck got good. Right, right, definitely, definitely. Right, so I think it was like going to do it for us here tonight, everyone. So be sure to give this a like, leave a comment, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell because. It's all help the YouTube algorithm. And of course, gentlemen, we have P Patreon and coffee as well. You know, feel free to support the channel. Any donations, donations will help contribute back to the show and uh, help us make more reviews for you. Right, and with that, yeah. we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for coming. Yep, yep.